Hello and welcome. My name is Muhammad Danish Nafi and I am an information security consultant. Welcome to authentication. In this video, I will take you through the different authentication methods, their basic definitions and how they fit into specific environments. Authentication is the process to validate an identity. This is how a platform or service knows it is you. There are three basic types of authentication mechanisms. These are type 1, something you know, type 2, something you have, type 3, something you are. Let's take a look at these in a little more depth. Type 1 authentication is simplest to implement. The subject is given a challenge and it responds with something unique and specific known only by the subject. The most common example is a password, although it is one of the most common type. Type 1 authentication is considered to be the weakest. Type 2 authentication requires a subject to possess something for authentication. Common examples are smart cards, static and dynamic tokens. Mobile-based tokens are also considered part of type 2 authentication. Type 3 authentication mainly consists of biometrics, which is something you are. There are numerous types of biometric controls like fingerprints, retina scans, iris scans, hand geometry, facial scan, and many other mechanisms to authenticate something you are. Fingerprints are considered to be most widely used biometric authentication mechanism. The data for a fingerprint is a mathematical representation of minutiae, which is specific details of ridges, loops, other particulars of fingerprint. It is widely used for physical access authentication. Fingerprint authentication gives false rejection if there are cuts or sores appear on finger. Other challenges are indistinct pattern due to age factor. Retina scan analyzes the blood vessels at the back of the eye. While the retina scan is one of the most accurate, it isn't allowed in many countries as it uses laser scan and reveals privileged health information. This method can also be affected by pregnancy, diabetes and other diseases of the eye. Iris scan on the other hand only uses patterns on the colored part of the eye. Of the biometric systems, iris scans are the most precise. The iris remains constant through adulthood which reduces the type of error during the authentication process. Hand geometry reads the shape of the person's hand including the shape, length and width of the hand and fingers. Facial scan is becoming increasingly popular with new series of laptops and other mobile devices. This system scans a person's face for different facial features such as bone structures, nose ridges, eye widths, forehead sizes and chin shapes. Apple's Face ID uses this technology for authentication. Voice recognition compares a spoken phrase by a person to a registered phrase previously spoken by the same person. This method is used in combination with other factors for authentication. For added security, authentication involves multiple factors from type 1, 2 and 3. This is the process known as two-factor authentication. For example, ATM machines use both debit cards and PIN which is a combination of something you have and something you know. Or your email may ask you for a password and send a unique code to your phone via text message. It won't accept your credentials until both conditions are met. I hope this video helps to make you understand the different authentication mechanisms used. What are some loopholes you have come across? And what measures do you think help plug those vulnerabilities? Share in the comments below.